I am really upset with Huda Beauty right now. Huda Beauty is a queen when it comes to launching makeup products and I've been buying her products for quite a long time now and she recently just said that this is going to be the final large eyeshadow palette that she's ever going to launch and I am so upset with it. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jaim and I'm a professional makeup artist based in Belgium. And for today's makeup look, well, I used the Huda Beauty Icy Nude Collection uh, to create this look. So if you want to know exactly how I did it, then I suggest you keep on watching. We are starting off with the Huda Beauty Easy Brow Primer. And I'm just taking like a pea size amount and I'm going to use my fingers to gently massage this onto the skin. So next up I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Foundation. Now what's really important with this foundation is that you shake it well so all the pigments can uh, mix together. And it's also important to note that this is a silicone based uh, foundation. And the silicones in this foundation will actually help you create that smooth and blurred effect. I'm using a flat top um, foundation brush and I'm gently gonna tip pull this onto the skin. And one of the things that I really like about this foundation is that you can actually layer um, them on top of each other. So the more thin layers that you use, the more blurring the effect will become of this foundation. And as you can see, I'm really using stippling motions to really buff this foundation into the skin. So next I'm going in with the new Huda Beauty blush filter in the shade Coco Loco and I'm gently just gonna place three little dots on my cheek and I'm gonna blend it using my foundation brush. Ooh, she's pigmented. <laughs> Now the reason why I'm going in with my blush filter right after I applied my foundation is so I can really mix my foundation with my blush and creating that ultimate skin-like effect. Okay, so my first thoughts with this bronzer more like, I thought it was going to be very very brown but as you can see it gives this beautiful natural pinkish glow and I love this. This is definitely a color that is very pretty on my skin tone. Now this isn't the first blush filter that I've used by Huda. I have all the other colors and what I love about this one is that even though it gives a lot of intensity, it is not too harsh on my skin and it really gives this natural glowy finish. Now, I think you all saw this face gloss on your For You page and all over the internet already because it does look kind of funky, but these are actually pearls that they pressed into this uh, face gloss and it is infused with um, pH reacting um, ingredients to really give you a subtle and kind of like a frostbite uh, vibe. So I'm just going in with a blush brush and I'm going to pick up a lot of product. And I'm gonna place this on top of the... Wow. I was gonna say I'm gonna put this on top of the bronzer, but I love what this gives. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that glow, look at that color payoff. Okay, this glow is just insane. Huda, I don't know how you did it, but this is stunning, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly set everything into place using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake uh, Loose Powder in the shade Banana Bread. And 
And now we're gonna talk about probably the saddest moment in Huda Beauty history because ladies and gents this is the last bigger eyeshadow palette that Huda has launched and we're gonna oh my god check out those shades Now, these are stunning. I think my favorite shade is actually the iced out shade that you see here. Look at that color shift. Doesn't really pick up that good on camera as it does on real life, but damn Huda, you outdid yourself. The only thing that is missing in the Huda Beauty collection, in my opinion, is a eyeshadow primer. So for this occasion, I'm just gonna go in with my trusted Morphe Eyelid Primer. It is a primer that dries down translucent and it will literally make your eyeshadow last all day and it will intensify the look of um, your eyeshadow as well. Taking it on my ring finger and gently just buffing that onto my eyelids. I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I am going in I'm gonna say with the shade Unapologetic because I feel that this color will really um, make my eyes pop a lot. So taking the fluffy brush, gently looking down so I can see where my crease is and I'm gently gonna apply that. Oh, and she's pretty too, wow. I also feel that this color really matches the bronzing shade I just used. So this is really going, going to tie the entire look together. Okay, I can definitely feel a Y2K moment coming up, so I'm going in with the shade IDGAF on another fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna apply that just underneath the brow bone. And then for some extra definition, I'm going in with the shade Faux Fur, which is this one. And I'm gently gonna place that onto the outer corners of my eyes and really blend that into the shade that I used on the crease as well. And whatever is left on my brush, which isn't a lot, but I'm just gonna take that inwards to really define the crease even more. Now I'm going in with the shade Iced Out. I'm taking it onto my finger and I'm gently gonna place that onto... Oh my lord, wow! Oh that sparkle is just everything. This is so pretty. I really feel that the camera isn't doing it any justice because this is give it, it's I, I can't even find the words but this is shifting from blue to pink to purple and wow this is just stunning okay going in with the one coat while mascara now, for the lips, I'm going in with the shade Trophy Wife of the Liquid Matte Lipsticks. And I'm gonna top it off with the new Faux Filter in the shade She Glitzy. We're using the Liquid Lipstick as a lip liner. Okay, this is the finished look. I am obsessed, you guys. I really think Huda outdid herself and I cannot wait to see what she will launch next. Now, this is a quite a simple look. Let me know in the comments if you want to have a more elaborate look in the next video. Bye!